Item number SCP-993, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. Any broadcasts of SCP-993 are to be intercepted as detailed in Protocol Epsilon Beta-3 and blocked from public viewing. All intercepted broadcasts are to be recorded and stored for future viewing. Any subjects used to view SCP-993 must be under the age of 10 and are to be dosed with a Class A amnestic after they have described the episode. Viewing of SCP-993 must be authorized by three Level 4 personnel. Description SCP-993 is a children's television program entitled Bubba the Clown, which first began airing in Beep 19 Beep. SCP-993 seems to have been made in the style of an educational cartoon, with the primary plot of most episodes being the titular character, Bubba the Clown, learning a new skill or activity. The program appears to have no supporting cast, and the setting of the program often changes between episodes. SCP-993's anomalous properties became obvious when the program is viewed. Anyone watching age 10 years or older will immediately fall unconscious when the program begins, and will remain incapacitated until the end of the program, later reporting a stabbing headache immediately before for blacking out. Children under the age of 10 viewing SCP-993 later report that it teaches and advocates activities such as cannibalism, murder, torture, danger expunged. These activities appear to be ingrained in the subject's mind. Repeated exposure to SCP-993 can result in permanent psychotic and schizophrenic symptoms. Episodes of SCP-993 are regularly broadcast from a currently unknown source, but since Beep, 20 Beep, all broadcasts have been successfully intercepted using Protocol Epsilon Beta 3 and blocked from public viewing. Episode Log Episode Title Contents Bubbles Kitchen Surprise Setting of episode is a stereotypical small American town. In the episode, Bubble the Clown appears to kidnap one of the town's citizens and takes him to his home. Once there, Bubba the Clown informs the viewer on how to prepare human flesh for consumption, then proceeds to skin, gut, and cook the citizen. Bubble in the Big City Setting of episode is a large American city, possibly New York. In the episode, Bubble the Clown instructs viewers on methods of lighting fires undetected using resources such as mosquito coils. At the end of the episode, Bubble the Clown sets fire to a large building and leaves. The picture stays on burning building for a further three minutes before the episode ends. Screams are audible during this time. Bubble's Sneaky Saturday Setting of episode appears to be London, as Elizabeth Tower housing Big Ben is visible. In the episode, Bubble the Clown silently stalks a woman for most of the episode. When she arrives at her home, Bubble the Clown attacks and kills her with a large butcher knife. Bubble the Clown details methods of remaining unseen in crowded places. Bubble gets the truth. Setting of episode appears to be a prisoner of war camp. In the episode, Bubble the Clown tortures a captured soldier, repeatedly asking him nonsensical questions. The soldier eventually appears to die of his wounds. Bubble the Clown then details to the viewer how to inflict painful but non-lethal injuries. Bubble hates you. Setting of episode appears to be a blank room. Bubble the Clown sits on a chair in the room, staring angrily at the viewer for the full 30 minutes of the episode. Screw you, screw you, screw you! Setting of the episode appears to be Psychbeep's video archive, where recordings of SCP-993 are stored. In the episode, Bubble the Clown angrily details methods of breaching containment for several SCPs. Bubble then details methods to murder researchers involved in his containment, showing detailed knowledge of their daily routines and habits, notably 
what appears to be an animated version of Dr. Beep walks past Bobbo halfway through the episode. A clock on the wall shows the time as BPM. Dr. Beep confirms that he was walking past SCP-993's archive at the time. Excerpt from SCP-3922 Extended Test Logs Subject, an episode of SCP-993 Interference Point, Beginning In a previously unaired episode titled Bubble Shoots for the Moon, the title character disables an instance of SCP-2578-D with a slingshot then instructs the viewer on how to dismantle and reverse engineer its various parts into a powerful energy weapon, which it then uses to disintegrate and torture several instances of SCP-3922-A that try to interfere. Note, this is the first known occurrence of SCP-3922-A soldiers not succeeding. Notice from the Central Intelligence Coordination and Project Operation Command Office. Center personnel may visit the Arena 19 Recreation Ring if they wish to view old episodes of Bubble the Clown Shark to increase morale. Thank you for your loyalty. Search. Punch. Conquer. Nathan Jones, Commissioner, Sikapoko. Project, SPC-993, Archived. Status, Inactive. Session Fangatorial Capabilities Defunct SPC-993 is an anti sergian propaganda program which the center uses to indoctrinate children under the age of 10 and is directly responsible for teaching pugilism and deviant martial arts to children and training them under the center's mission. Viewers of SPC-993 over the age of 10 experience feelings of joy, amusement, and satisfaction. This is not believed to be a result of direct viewing. These are common side effects of witnessing Sergei and Pulsum in action. Project Components SPC-993 consists of a single component, but with a clown shark, a children's animated television program produced originally by Filmation Studios, starting in 1949. SPC-993 features a titular character, a sand tiger Celestian, with an amatory tail fins and his day-to-day activities as a stockbroker and moneylender. Episodes in Fourth Bubble engaging unsuccessfully in insurance fraud and other business scams and becoming a victim of violence when discovered. Due to center augmentation, Bobo does not react negatively to pressure and is seen grinning and laughing in most scenes. Bobo does not expire as a result of his injuries or damage incurred to Bobo. Note, which includes but is not limited to pugilism, exsanguination, punting, skewering, electrocution, use as a board in water skiing activities, in contrast to waterboarding, we're just not working on sentient entities, mutilation, sarcophagy, exposure to cognitive hazards, and public humiliation after peeing himself, be- heals between episodes and scene transitions. Augmentation Summary The center came to purchase Filmation Studios in 1953 and worked to alter the series to feature Bubbles' humorous mistreatment by different humans and aquatic entities. Through the use of meta-narrative pugnatural techniques with help from the Three Moons Initiative, center virtualists were able to coerce Bubble under duress and convince him to cooperate. Between 1953 and 1969, 416 animated Bobby the Clown Shark Short aired on numerous syndicated television stations. The show acted as an educational comedy that teaches children the proper way to fight, build muscle, and engage in Sergian Pulcherism, often narrated by Bobo himself. Deployment Record Episode Log Episode Title Contents Bobo pretends to be the IRS. Episode takes place in a large call center where Bobo communicates with several people via telephone. He speaks with an elderly woman in an attempt to convince her to release credit card information. 
The woman punches him through the phone receiver, breaking several teeth. The office manager, noticing his scam attempt, convinces a mob of angry co-workers to beat him to a pulp as a Benny Hill theme plays. Bubble gets beat up by Moby Dick while Captain Ahab watches. Upso takes place in a wondrous library. Note, it is unknown how Bubble got to this location, as the center is retroactively banned from every single library we visit. Bubble steals the book Ponzi Schemes for Hypnogos and apprehends it immediately. The episode involves a librarian pulling fictional pulp and comic book characters out of their original publications, at which point they engage in corporeal punishment against Bubble. This occurs for an ensuing three hours. Note, most popular clown shorts are between 10 to 15 minutes in length, while Bubble laughs uncontrollably. I burn Bubble's toast bread. This episode, directed, produced by, and starring me, involves Bubble entering my kitchen while my owner is asleep. After wasting a few minutes trying to break into my owner's security cash box, he loses the fridge and places two slices of whole wheat bread into my slots. I burn his toast and force it down his throat. There was some kind of laugh track playing, I think. Next episode, I get plugged in and thrown into the bathtub while he washes up. Scram, baby, scram! Sensei says, Bunch Bubble. Episode takes place in an all-girls karate class. The class involves a warm-up, cathartic demonstration, and sparring session, narrated by Bubble, acting as both the class sensei and punching bag. Throughout the class, the 23 attendees conspire against Bubble, leading to a 10-minute showdown between him and the girls. At one point, Orange Belt Christine Cook, age 8, punches Bubble in the snout. The force causes him to fly through a structural beam and load-bearing wall at Mach 1.5, leveling the building. No children were harmed in the production of this episode. In 1969, all further airings of SPC-993 emitted a squirrel like hazard, note, a hazard of cell dying origin produced by the character Bubble after years of torment. Viewers under the age of 10 affected by the hazard became enraged by the concept of cell chines and sought means to pummel them. To the center's luck, this compulsion ceased after the program ended, though the fiends persisted. Bubble the Clown Shark was taken off the air, and all copies of the show were burned. SPC 993's master copies named in Sikapoku Archives. Noticed, there's been an update to SPC 993. Read it? Yes! That's right! Are you seeing this crap? Check it out, dog! This is an automated message. Please do not reply. Update. In February 2017, all episodes of SPC 993 were altered simultaneously, edited in mass to no longer include the titular character. The next day, anomalous television program, The Chappelle Show, hosted by Richard Clavis Chappelle, a critically acclaimed sociomorphic television entrepreneur and Mud City resident, began broadcasting a low-budget CGI reboot of Bubble the Clown Shark daily for 12 hours each day. The reboot features Bubble advocating for activities so shines can and should do on land, such as driving pickup trucks, teaching interpretive dance classes, and running for Congress, as well as reducted heavyweight pugilists only, hugging puppies. <laughs> Attention, all Cinder Portalist! Bubble the Clown Shark is in Kawabunga Dude level danger! We need our help to get him back from the deviant menace! To do this, we need a hardened fighter with fists of steel! To prove their worth, all you need to do is 100 push ups, 100 sit ups, and 100 squats, and drink a peanut butter and banana chocolate protein shake! But you gotta be quick so that Bubble can get back on the air and teach these kids karate! Once you have read this document, please report to your fitness center! Um, an iced tea, tea will be administered when you get there. Hurry! The following is qualified restricted. Access granted. Official promotion. Center Smackdown. Are you ready for Center Smackdown 993? Watch Super Punchless Clark Punch Dr. Savage Jr. in an epic once-in-a-lifetime unlicensed matchup versus Sergeant Richard C. Chappelle. Tune in on March 12th at... 8-7 Central to witness a 
Oh, Doc Savage, pulverized the Sergian wretch. That's right. Watch Center Smackdown 993 live at the Dr. Mike Tyson Coliseum. Buy your tickets today.